So we're in the shop building some arrows and we thought it'd be the appropriate time to talk about spine. What is static spine? What is dynamic spine? Why does it matter when you're buying arrows? Why does it matter when you're building arrows? So what I have here is a set of 246 shafts spined at 300. So what does that actually mean? That is a static spine measurement that you can look at on a chart when you're purchasing arrows. And it simply is the amount of deflection in that shaft when a 29 inch shaft is supported at 28 inches and a 1.94 pound weight is applied to the dead center. So when you do this on our PAP system, the amount that this arrow bends is your static spine. Now there's some complex things there. The shaft at different points is going to have different spines. So if you were to cut this thing in a cross section, every single cross section is gonna have a different static spine. The static spine of your arrow only matters when you're purchasing it. So when you start looking at bow metrics, your draw length, your draw weight, your arrow length, that chart, just that static spine chart is gonna tell you what spine you need uh, to shoot out of that bow. If you're underspined, it causes the world of problems, which I know firsthand. Now, when you start actually building arrows, and start talking about dynamic spine, things get a whole lot more complicated. And you're probably wondering what the heck dynamic spine is. Dynamic spine is the way your arrow reacts once the power stroke of the bow or the work is applied to that shaft. So if you've ever seen a high frame camera footage of an arrow being shot, you know this thing is going crazy downrange. It is flexing, it's oscillating, it looks like it's going to explode. Now, you guys are all probably familiar with Troy Fowler, the Ranch Ferry, the high FOC, the test kits that you buy, I know firsthand. When you start applying different point, point weights to your arrow and you start knock tuning and doing all these things to tune your arrows to get them to calm down, essentially what you're doing is changing the dynamic spine in that arrow. You want that arrow to fly as calm and as straight as possible. Uh, the challenge with that is it takes a lot of freaking time to do that, right? You gotta screw different point weights in, you have to shoot, See how your arrow hits the target. Is it sideways? Is it up? Is it down? Um, knock tune. There's a much easier process to figure out your dynamic spine. And I'm going to show you how to do that on this PAP system. So what we're going to do, again, support this arrow. This is a full length shaft, but support this arrow at 28 inches. And what we're going to want to find is the first dynamic bend in this arrow. So when we think about that workforce or that power stroke of, the, of your bow being applied to your arrow, you want that dynamic bend, that first dynamic bend where that arrow is first moving, the first reaction point, you want that to be vertical. You want that to be up and down with your bowstring. So this is a very easy process. All we're gonna do is apply a little pressure to the shaft and we're gonna find where the valley of that shaft is, where it bends and where that arrow wants to sit. Um, so we're just gonna roll that around with our finger a little bit and we can see that arrow starting to snap back. Like this arrow wants to sit right here in this valley. So we can take our Sharpie and we're gonna make a little mark here. And this one's actually already marked. But we're gonna mark it again. And what this tells us again, at this point, this is where the valley where the first dynamic bend is in the shaft. And now what we're able to do is fletch and stick our, install our press fit knock directly in line with that first dynamic bend to align our dynamic spine out of our bow. So there is no, you know, bear shaft tuning this. These things will fly straight. They will fly true. They will fly most efficient. Now you may have to knock tune just a little bit, but you're not doing the quarter turn knock tuning uh, to get this thing to fly straight. You might have a 16th or an eighth or, you know, just minute changes depending on how you hold the bow, what your shot sequence is like. So when you're thinking about building arrows, when you're thinking about purchasing arrows, remember there's two different types of spine. You have the static spine, that is what you're going to be purchasing your arrows off of. You're gonna think about your draw weight, you're gonna think about what kind of point weight you're adding, um, your draw length, and there's a lot of good charts out there. Just make sure you use a dependable one. As you add point weight, it's going to cause your spine to decrease or weaken. So you may have to spine up if you're shooting a really heavy broadhead. But when it comes to building arrows, dynamic spine, that first dynamic bend in your shaft is king. And that is what you should be building your arrows around.